Back, Emily Frankowski from Connect to Culture is with us this morning to share about some events that are happening in the month of October. Good morning to you, Emily. Happy to have you as always. So October, just in a few days, is happening, coming up, and it's National Arts and Humanities Month. So talk to me about what that is for those who might not yeah. know. So yes, I've got my sweater on. Yes. I'm ready for fall. Oh yeah. And October <laughs> is a great time to get involved in arts and culture mm -hmm. because it's National Arts and Humanities yes. Month. So it's kind of just that reminder every year that the arts matter and mm -hmm. maybe, you know, maybe you're like me, I've already started my relationship with the arts, you know, I'm all in, I'm passionate and yeah. I'm always going to all these events, but there are some people who haven't started that relationship. So it's kind of just a reminder to people that, hey, the arts and cultural Absolutely. community is out there and there's so much to do mm -hmm. and Connect to Culture can help yes. you figure out what kind of things are mm -hmm. happening in the Joplin area so that you can start that hopefully lifelong relationship yeah, with the arts. And so it's just kind of an intentional celebration all throughout the United right. States to get involved with Fantastic, arts. Fantastic, because there's something for everyone, uh, for exactly. sure. Exactly. So talk to me about one of the first events that are happening in the month of October. It's called Time for Three. Yes. This is actually a performance that Connected Culture had planned for the previous mm. season, but due to illness, oh, okay. we weren't able to have the performance, but yeah. we were able to reschedule it. And this is a group that calls themselves a classically trained garage band. Oh, wow. And so <laughs> they play, you know, they play classical music as well as popular music yes. um, with string instruments. And we've got some student collaboration so one of the songs you'll see area students playing with those professional artists that's October 5th mm -hmm. um, and then the next up we've got young concert artist Shea Young Park okay, yeah. um, all of these performances are happening at the Cornell complex through connect to culture series but this is um, the young concert artist program is a very prestigious um, group that takes on young artists to kind of right. get them used to touring and oh, gives sure. them all of these tools and so it's a very rigorous process oh, I can um, imagine so, auditioning yeah. to be part of this group but Shea Young Park has ties to the area she oh, really? was born in South Korea but then moved to Lawrence Kansas oh, and yes. grew up there and then of course now she resides in New York mm -hmm. City mm -hmm. went to the Juilliard School has won very renowned pr oh, prizes amazing. in piano and so we're excited to have her Absolutely. on our stage and playing our 1949 refurbished Steinway concert grand. Mm, so that is going to be a fantastic performance for piano lovers out there. And then um, another opportunity for area artists is Artist Inc. Express. Mm -hmm. It's a program that Connect to Culture and Spiva Center for the Arts are hosting with Mid-America Arts Alliance. And it is just a kind of a professional development program for okay. area artists of any discipline. So not just visual artists, performing artists, oh, literary yeah. artists, any type of Everyone. artist yeah, yes and it's free so oh, um, if you use our calendar find the links and register you can come for this two-day free workshop with the mid-america arts alliance where you'll work with um, different people who are in the field what a great opportunity yeah wow. isn't it yes and then you have one more event mm -hmm. in the month of october and it's some enchanted evening yes we're really excited about this this is October 27th, near the end. Um, it is with Benny Benak III, mm. um, Catherine Cole, and Jabu Grabiel. Um, all of them have kind of ties to postmodern jukebox who did come through the area, um, went to the Bicknell yes. a few years oh, ago. Wow. Um, but they are taking us on a jazz-inspired journey through Broadway's greatest hits. So you'll hear oh, some fun. favorites yeah. from long ago, as well as some new ones. Um, but these three musicians are just so um, talented. Um, they're there's tap dancing, there's crooner singing. Yes. Um, Catherine, if you look at her TikTok, mm -hmm. she is pretty, oh, wow. um, she has a lot of viral videos, but we're excited to have them all three in one place yes. with their band. And it's just gonna be, a, if you love jazz, if you love Broadway, it's a great show. But this, you know, this is just skimming mm -hmm. the surface. There's so many different things yes. going on in the arts and cultural community. And like we said, it's National Arts and Humanities mm -hmm. Month. Go to connecticulture.org, use our resources and find something to be a part of. Absolutely, lots to look forward to. As always, thank you so much for being with us this morning, Emily. For more information, you can visit their website at connecticulture.org. Stick around, we're back with more right after this.